Hello, everyone. My name is Rosanna Algerli, and I will be presenting you today our work in the paper, A Surprisingly Effective Parameter-Based Loss for Medical Image Segmentation. Now, as we all know, that deep convolutional neural networks have recently made many breakthroughs in medical image segmentation. However, they still produce aberrant errors with holes and accuracies near the object boundaries. To mitigate these limitations, many works have aimed at designing contour-based losses that incorporate spatial and location constraints in order to increase anatomical plausibilities within segmentation networks. Now, contour-based losses, they often aim to minimize the one-to-one -one correspondence between points on the predicted and labeled contours. Moreover, they exploit distance maps in order to reveal the change between the predicted and ground truth boundaries. Despite their significance across different segmentation tasks, however, such um, losses are rather complex in nature due to their hard gradients and high computational costs. Moreover, since they depend on distance maps, they often tend to underestimate the contour to contour distances since in a distance map, the closest point is rather chosen systematically. Taking a close, a small example of two segmentation maps with different border specifications and characteristics, as well as their corresponding distance maps. A closer look at the distance maps, we realize that the distance maps for both segmentation maps are rather similar, whereas the segmentation maps, they hold different border characteristics. This reveals the limitations of distance maps in accounting for border specifications. In our method, we propose a novel contour-based loss that targets constraining the perimeter length of the organ. The novelty of the proposed method relative to the state of the art is twofold. First, instead of distance maps, we propose a new contour-based loss inspired by F that can better account for border specifications. Moreover, we aim to constrain the perimeter length of the organs instead of the exact boundary matching. This allows for better and easier gradients, and thus this allows us to decrease the computational cost throughout training. Now, moving on to the proposed method, the contour function F is rather a simple morphological gradient step where contour maps are produced by subtracting the erosion of the segmentation map from the dilation of the eroded map. The dilation and erosion are conducted via max and min pooling followed by erelu layer. A closer look at the exemplars of segmentation maps and their corresponding contour maps, we realize the significance of the proposed method and the proposed contour fu function in accounting for border specifications. The proposed loss is hence defined as the combination between the dice loss and the perimeter loss, fine-tuned by a hyperparameter lambda, which is um, updated dynamically as across the training epochs. The perimeter loss is hence the mean squared error between the perimeter length of the predicted contour map and the gro um, ground truth perimeter length. In summary, the proposed method extracts for each of the ground truth segmentation map and its corresponding predicted map a contour uh, map using the contour function f. After, it produces the perimeter length for both entities by summing over each of the pixels in the contour maps, after which it will, it will compute the mean squared error between the predicted entity as well as the ground truth entity. The proposed method is validated across single organ as well as multi-organ segmentation. Within single organ segmentation, we validate across the segmentation of the spleen from the Decathlon challenge and the right ventricular and endocardium from the ACDC challenge. We compare the proposed method relative to the host turf loss and the boundary loss within the same training strategy as well as the dice baseline. Results show a significant improvement in performance relative to the dice accuracy and the whole surf distance for both datasets when compared to its peer contour-based losses, as well as the dice loss. This indicates 
the ability of the proposed loss in accounting for curvatures and shape irregularities. With regards to multi-organ segmentation, we test across the segmentation of all ACD structures, as well as the two tissues in the hippocampus dataset from the Decathlon Challenge. Results show improvement or maintenance of persistent performance um, with regards to closed structures for both datasets. This indicates the ability of a proposed loss to properly delineate um, neighboring structures uh, and accounting for border irregularities. In conclusion, we have proposed in this work a novel contour-based loss that constrains the perimeter length of organs, and we have achieved better than state of the art performances on single and multi-organ medical image segmentation. Within future work, we, ad we will adapt the proposed loss to accommodate multi-connected component organs, and we aim to investigate different weighting strategies for multi-organ segmentation settings basing on the border irregularities of the considered organs. So thank you for listening.